What's up guys, it's Deke here. Today I am back with another video and today we are going to be doing a Votifier setup and I had a lot of trouble doing this at when well I for my server so I'm going to explain how I did it because I know this is a big topic and a lot of people have trouble with it so I'm just going to show how I did it and how I got it to work and honestly to when I got it to work it was really stupid of me if, you know, why it didn't work and it was really easy to fix. And so, yeah, I mean, here we go, guys. So, first of all, this is for multi-craft setups. If you have multi-craft, multi they are um, FTP. This is how you would do it. So, first you want to go into your plugins folder. And before this, you want to make sure that you install Votifier. And to install it, you download it. I will leave the link in the description. Uh, you put it into your plugins folder. So, you would upload it. And then you just restart your server. And the folder should be here. So, first off. You want to open up your folder, and the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your config. So you can click edit. Now, for me, I left my host at 0000. I've seen people put their actual IP in there. Uh, that did not work for me. So I left that just blank with just host 0000. Now, what you want to do is pick a random number. It's between 1. 1024 25565 I believe pick a random number any number you want put some numbers in there boom uh, for me it's 5198 those are the numbers I picked and those are the numbers that worked so for that port you just want to pick a random number um, there's what there's websites that will put random numbers in there for you you can look those up uh, I might leave a link down in the description for one of those if you can't figure out a number that works just pick a random number it's pretty simple so I'm not going to touch anything, I'm going to save it. And I'm going to go back. Alright, now after you've done that, it's pretty simple. And you want to go to your RSA and your public key. Alright. Next thing you want to do is you want to control all, control all, control A, same thing. Uh, and copy and paste. Or just copy for right now. And after you've done that, you don't need to do anything else. Click back. Alright, so right now we've done everything we need to do in this. Oops, let's go back. We've done everything we need to do in the Votifier. So, I'm going to head over on to PM PMC and right here. So, on the address port, you put the address to your server. So, mine is this. But I do have a domain. If you put a domain in there, for me, it switched it to its actual port. And then, for the port, you put the port that you put in. For the port number, you put in the one that you put in here. So you copy this and you put it in here. All right. Then this Votifier public key. This is the thing that you copied earlier. You put that in here. And after you're done doing that, you test Votifier connection, and then boom, successfully connect to Votifier on your server. Now, when you've done this, you want to make sure you save it. Oh, and before you before you save it, I forgot to mention something. You gotta make sure you click Enable Votifier. If you don't click Enable Votifier, it's not gonna it's not gonna work. So then after you do that, you click Save, and boom, it should be working actually. But to test it, go on here. You can go on your server. You could type slash vs test, and to do that, you would do. slash vs test yes yes that's the command do vs test and if it pops up then it should be working now a lot of people want to give items and stuff to when people donate and I do that too but for me I didn't use a listener I just use the Votifier scripts it works the same and for this little example here I'm just gonna show you guys what I put in my kit now when you install Votifier, it's going to also install a Votifier scripts folder. So you want to open that folder after you're done setting up the Votifier. And then you want to go to Vote Script. Click Edit. And now this is what it will give them when they vote. So for mine, it, it broadcasts this message. Uh, you can add colors. You can change it to whatever you want. And for the player, you put percentage, target, percentage. That's what... It, I mean, it's pretty simple. It's already in there, so you don't really need to change that. Just keep that there. You always want to have this in in this little row here. All right, so how, see how this is broadcast? This is what it's going to do. It's going to broadcast to the server that 
this player voted and it says thank you for voting player name or target now for me i wanted to add like um i want to give them items so what you want to do i'll add another item for this one you do command parentheses quotations and then to give them an item i'll just give 49 or give target 49 16 boom boom now when they vote it will give them give that player obsidian in quantity of 16 so I give them 16 obsidian now I already have that in my config so I'm just going to delete what I just did there and another example was to give them money now for this you would just do eco space give the target and then the amount so that one's pretty simple as well as you can see it's right here if you guys want to take a look at that um, and for also for my server, I give them crate keys and this one, I had to look it up a little bit, but basically you just do the command to give a player a key for my plot for my server. I use crate plus. I highly suggest that crate, uh, plugin. Uh, it's very simple to use and it works pretty efficiently. So when they vote, they get crate key player name vote and they get the vote, uh, key and it gives them one. So. Basically, that's the setup for that. Now, I would show you guys that it works on the server, but I already voted today, so I am going to skip out on that part. But for I can promise you guys that this setup works for me, and it should work for you if you copied everything that I did. So, if this video helped you guys, make sure you guys leave a like in the description. Or, you know, like in the description, just leave a like. And if you have comments, just make sure you post down in the comments. Any troubles, I will answer any questions that I can. If you're new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe for other content just like this one. All right, peace out, guys.